gangs that are come out at you, which you need a log, you know, like a unit, like a log or a zap to really clear it out. We're gonna come into this matchup. There's a rocket right off the bat from Tim Dalla sign. Is it gonna be bait versus Golem? I don't know, you know, that's a, that's a pretty good <laughs> prediction. Man, I, I should be playing, damn! <laughs> wow, no way! You should be coaching at the very least, tell these guys what they're gonna be going up oh, against man. before the match is even I might started. have a contract waiting for hey, me. Oh, Jeez. hey, yeah. Uh. Oh, man. Well, oh. oh, a furnace. Unconventional option here for Tin. It works really well against the swarms that we talked about earlier. Spits out fire spirits every once in a while, trying to just take down whatever little bitty attacks coming in. Nimsis A does choose for the there giant, it is, prince, the combo, giant prince combo. That came out. The bowler. It looks like we're going to be running that bowler, the old school bowler bait from Tin 2. Giant continuing the smack the tower. Arrows, though, coming out from Tin. The value arrows, but two little bats remained. I don't know if you noticed this. Nim Sensei got that bowler pretty far down. Looks like the defensive arrows by Tin suggest that he's playing a deck that I've seen a few times before, but haven't really seen successful in a competitive setting. I bet you that the la uh, uh, one of the other cards he's got in his deck is going to be Mirror, actually. Yeah. It's a card that we hardly ever see, uh, but the goal of this deck that Tin is playing uh, is to actually just only play defense the entire game, then just throw whatever is left from the remainder of the attack <laughs> onto the tower directly. Now you can get Minion Horde and Rocket for massive damage if your opponent doesn't have uh, you, you know, any way to punish either of those cards. Uh, but Tin is going to be happy to just sit on his side and let him since they come at him. Yeah. This could be a Rocket opportunity onto the Night Witch too. There it could, the Night Witch. He's feeling uh, aggressive here. No, he's going to let it come at him anyways. Very patient, just patient play style. Let them come at him, because he knows the giant's going to be in front of this. Yep. You know, you don't want to have to deal with the bats. Poison, oh, Ooh, wow. No, that's... Poison going to clip the back end of those minions from the horde. It's going to hit the front end as they walk into it, going Ooh. for the giant. Yep, they're all down. Nice Gabo gang at the right side, and a barrel to supplement. <laughs> oh, Whoa, no! Oh, that oh. rocket value hits the Prince, doesn't quite hit the Mega Minion, so Nim Sensei still has a couple of legs oh, to stand on here. here comes the push on the right hand push. side, he's got the entire family! Oh my goodness, you're gonna need to call Tom, because Jerry's on the right hand side, <laughs> Giant is gonna hit the tower, Mega Minion swiping right, oh, he likes man. what he sees, Giant's gonna, oh my goodness, just like that, Nim Sensei's gonna take the tower. One down, but I don't know if Ten's out of this just yet, a good rocket barrel might be able to seal the deal at the right side. Ooh, a Naked barrel. Whoa, no, it's a double barrel. Check that in chat. We got 10 level 10 gobbos stabbing in the tower down. And this thing is going into overtime. We have seen oh, the mirror. No. Oh, oh, wait, no, it's not. Oh, I that's a that was, oh, poison. I got scared for a second oh, there. Man. I got scared for a second. I got uh, too excited. I got to take it down. <laughs> I got to take it down. <laughs> Another pretty good opportunity to rock it here. If he, he could hit the pump and the Night Witch out the left side. Nim Sitsis just got plenty of juice, though. Check this out. He's going to pump up again on the right. If Tim oh, can no! Wait, he missed the Night Witch. Oh, that's it. It's over. It's over. Defensive furnace here, but you're not going to get a whole lot of value up against no. this Prince. Stabbing uh. it down. The bat's helping out as well. And Sensei drilling hard on the left side. So much no. to play around with. Ow. He's just having a field day right now. He, and just keep, he just keeps on coming. Where was Tom when you need him? <laughs> Jerry is continuing to destroy this tower. Wow, Neb Sensei, beautifully played by Neb Sensei. Wipes Unbelievable. It out. Oh, Unbelievable. Love it. You know, credit to Tin. Against that, that, that attack, that mini horde well, just got why, obliterated. That's why I predicted the golem instead of the giant, because a giant synergizes with poison, golem synergizes with lightning. And just like that, there's the lightning coming in. Oh, no, Tin. Dollar signs gonna get a lot of dollars on that tower, taking it all the way down to 1550 life. And there it is. Now you see a lightning from Tin Dollar. He's in complete control. Nem Sensei's gotta be flustered and gotta be. Yeah, man, if you if you lose a game like that, it's just really rough. It is. And now Tin, who appeared to be down 0-1 in the match, is now 1-0 up and he's playing dominantly against this uh, this Prince deck that Nim has brought. Yeah. He's, uh, you know, got 900 hit points, peeled off that right side tower, Tin playing a Hog Rider Lightning deck. You know, I thought there was a good chance that he might choose to run this one, and it looks like he did opt for it. Oh. Pekka coming on in, chopping through this giant, and this push that Nim Sensei had set up is just getting obliterated. The combo breaker, Tin on defense, gets the job done. Yeah, this is not looking good for Nim Sensei at all whatsoever. This push on the right-hand side might even connect to the tower. Good Prince here. 
Oh, these goblins, are they, uh, does he have an answer for the goblins? Ooh, arrows, arrows are not gonna be an answer, and the Pekka's still gonna jump! Oh my Two shots. goodness, the Pekka, Mama Pekka ate our meatballs today. Dang, man, wow. Nim Sensei is just such an amazing player, and I feel so bad that it feels like he's off his game. Both <sighs> day one and day two, the number two player from Europe has just not been able to prove it so far. Yeah. Uh, you know, picking a banned card and, you know, uh, make, you know, soaking two hits from a P.E.K.K.A. like that. If There's just no ground options that Nipsensei has to swarm the P.E.K.K.A. though. If you're already down, oh no, oh, that's a tower on the left hand side. Beautiful lightning coming in from Tandala. And here's the thing, if you're already down 0-4 and you lose a game because you played a banned card, how demoralizing does that have to be? You're seeing it here in this game. Nim Sensei just does not know what to do. I mean, he does have the answer with the P.E.K.K.A., but this is just not a position he wants to be. Guys, please hide any children with delicate sensibilities. Tin just finally took his first hit on the left side, but has already almost destroyed Nim Sensei's left and right side tower. They are within lightning range at this point. He's taken some damage out the left, but Tin is playing very smart, getting tons of value from this E-Wiz. Uh, and yep, that's to block. I don't, I don't see any way for Nim Sensei to turn this thing around. Scratching his head, trying to figure out what's going on, man. I want to see the shades in chat, and I want to see Nim Sensei with the shades. I want to see the shades master back well, in his we, natural element. We but did we can't see, see it yet. We did see the shades from Surgical Goblin at the oh, end man. of week run, and I actually.